are now joined by Truman Du, the CEO of Genuine Impact. Welcome to the show, Truman. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. Um, apparently, you've got foster brothers and sisters living in several different countries around the world. Yes. Where, where are they all? Uh, two are now in Netherlands, one right. in the US, and uh, one in Germany. Nice. And you from Beijing? Uh, You're yes. in Beijing? Yes. Yeah. And uh, enjoying being in London? Oh, yes, so far so good. I was educated here uh, and, and the US uh, for, for university, and I started my career here in London. Great. Are you ready to pitch? Yes, absolutely. In eight minutes. Okay. Hello, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Truman Du. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Genu Impact. Uh, Genu Impact is the world's first financial terminal uh, that is made exclusively to empower DIY investors. Um, we have the vision that through long-term informed investing, uh, DIY investors are able to uh, create wealth for themselves. And as a result of that, uh, we're able to narrow the gap of wealth inequality. So who's behind the company? Uh, the company has three co-founders. Uh, I'm the CEO. Uh, Yu Chen Xia is our COO. Alistair Snedden, who's the CTO. Uh, the three of us uh, came from previous companies of BlackRock, Interact Investor, and Money Farm. Uh, we came with uh, backgrounds in investment and technology and marketing. Uh, we are joined by Scott, uh, who used to work at Facebook and uh, BSkyB. Uh, he brings a lot of marketing and user acquisition expertise to the team. So what are the problems we are trying to solve? Uh, there are five issues today facing DIY investors. Uh, they have very poor access uh, to high quality financial information. A lot of them still need to rely on the likes of Google Finance to do their own company and fund research. Uh, as a result of that, the whole process is highly inefficient. Uh, they spend hours and hours, sometimes even just to get the data together uh, in good shape. The existing service providers, such as Bloomberg Terminal, only serves elite institutions, and uh, it's really uh, expensive, which usually costs more than $25,000 a year. Um, as a result of the three pain points um, that I have outlined so far, most of the DIY investors end up being highly emotional. They like to trade on the short-term news, uh, they don't really have an established long-term thinking mindset. Um, and in the most recent years, there are many uh, trading apps uh, emerging from the fintech space. Uh, they offer uh, superior and modern uh, execution capabilities. However, uh, what is missing currently in the marketplace is that whole uh, enabler, the whole brain uh, thinking process behind uh, individuals' decision making. Um, so those are the five problems. So what are the solutions? Uh, we think that our products uh, have the four key unique selling points. They are convenient, they are trustworthy, uh, they are highly affordable, uh, which cost only one to two percent of a Bloomberg terminal. And finally, the whole user experience is, uh, is very smooth. Um, so here is a quick snapshot of the current uh, app. Uh, it's, it's in beta testing phase. There are three key features. The first one is automated security ranking. We do all the hard work, uh, do all the research, number crunching, so that our users do not have to do that. Uh, we have portfolio analysis, uh, which gives you full transparency of what exactly you are holding, uh, and the detailed uh, exposure analysis. And finally, we aggregate all the high quality asset managers publications in one place. Uh, rather than you going to different websites and sign up to newsletters, we bring you efficiency. So if you look at the three apps together, the key um, uh, value add we are bringing to the, user, to the user journey is to uh, create efficiency, convenience, and trustworthiness. Uh, our target market is, is large in size. Uh, specifically, we target those uh, who are more than 30 years old and have more than 20,000 uh, pounds of investable assets. Uh, if you look at just the UK alone, there are, according to Boring Money, uh, 4.8 million DIY investors. In the US, the number is 54 million. If you look at China, which is the largest untapped DIY market today, uh, the number is more than 140 million DIY investors. So the market is large in size. Uh, this is our revenue model. We charge on a freemium basis. 
we have the basic features that are uh, available for the users to use. And then um, uh, with the money that we're going to raise, uh, we're going to work on the uh, upcoming premium features, uh, including uh, things like um, uh, sales site research, uh, access to companies and fund managers, uh, as well as uh, the broker account integration, so that you can have all of your broker accounts in one place, which gives you very easy and access to monitor the whole investment process. Looking into the future, uh, we see very exciting growth opportunities in, uh, in Asia. That's, large, that's the largest uh, retail markets globally. Uh, we are able to monetize our insights function through advertising. Uh, we are going to ro roll out the world's first equity bidding platform uh, targeting DIY investors. And finally, our technologies are able to uh, serve uh, uh, the large enterprises uh, such as brokers and financial advisors. In terms of competition, um, we are competing with the likes of Simply Wall Street and Stockopedia, which, is, uh, which, which are the two largest competitors. Uh, if you look at the companies on the left-hand side, we position ourselves as partners with them. Uh, so these are the robo-advisors, brokers, uh, as well as financial advisors. Um, um, how we position ourselves is that we are going to serve our contents, our intellectual properties, and work with these companies uh, to serve the end users better. Uh, our marketing strategy, uh, we have three pillars. The first one is to create content that build that brand awareness and trust with our users. Secondly, we're going to use our users uh, as referrals and brand ambassadors. We're going to establish an online community. And finally, we're going to partner uh, with the existing advisors and financial brokers. Uh, finally, in terms of traction, uh, we launched our beta app just about four weeks ago. Uh, within that time frame, we've had uh, more than 500 users, uh, uh, which uh, we spent no marketing uh, um, uh, on. Uh, we uh, have signed a partnership agreement with one of the leading asset managers in China. It's called Yinhua. Uh, that gives us the whole access to that rising and large untapped Chinese market. Uh, we are featured uh, by, the, by the industry leading magazines such as CDWR and FinTech in Shorts. And finally, uh, we are supported by the Virgin Startup uh, Mentorship Program. Uh, and with that, uh, that concludes uh, the presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Very interesting. Um, Eddie, have you got any questions? So I, I think this is a really natural progression from the democratization, really, of trading. Yes. So if you go back about 10 or 20 years, I think you, know, you had to be a bank and you had a trading floor and so on. And today, of course, you can trade on your app and, every, and so on. So it's natural that you would do this. What's the overlap with Bloomberg in terms of features, though? Yes. So, so how does that overlap? And are you doing anything new? Uh, yes. We, uh, if you look at Bloomberg, they are really strong in the unprocessed news and data. Their value proposition to the elite institutions is we have all these for you, and you do the hard work. Right. We take that one step further. We purchase data from uh, data vendors, and we do automated research on behalf of DIY investors. So we take. Uh, one step further, we, we not only aggregate news and data, we actually provide analytics on that basis. Um, so we are one step further uh, from Bloomberg, um, and that's very necessary for DOI investors because they don't really have time to do research on their own. Um, so we want to automate that entire process. So that is the key difference between us and Bloomberg. Uh, Bloomberg itself does not have uh, many advanced analytics because their clients don't need them to do that. Um, their, their clients are highly uh, capable individuals, and uh, that's their full-time job, which is to do uh, company research. However, our target customer, DIY investors, they don't really have that luxury of time. Uh, they have their day job. They may only have more than uh, 20 minutes a day uh, uh, working on their own investments. So that's what um, uh, we think is the biggest um, urgency, the efficiency, and the convenience in that process. So, so, so actually, you're not just a poor cousin of Bloomberg. You're actually innovating beyond some of their capabilities. Yes, we are. We're taking uh, one step further. To th think about this: uh, what you see on Bloomberg is is, is raw meat, and we cook the dinner for you. <laughs> okay. Very <laughs> fitting. <laughs> okay, and uh, but your pricing is much much cheaper. Yes. Much more accessible. So, what kind of what are the pricing structures? Yes. So uh, the current pricing structure for the full version of the premium feature is two hundred forty pounds a year, uh, which is equivalent to twenty pounds. Uh, a month. 
uh, the reason why uh, we are able to be uh, the cost leader in the space is um, the, the cost structure is highly scalable. A lot of um, the, the key inputs are, um, are humans. Um, we provide our own analytics. So a, a, a lot of the analytics we own in-house, things like how you do font analysis, how you do company analysis in an automated fashion. Um, so uh, once, we've is, wa once we've invested in that cost structure um, up front, um, uh, we are able to scale on that basis pretty fast. Okay, and is this a data, is this, are you pu purely a sort of information provider or do you integrate with some of the consumer trading platforms as well? Yes, yeah, great question. Uh, it's, it's, the f it's the latter we're, we're going towards. Uh, so we start with producing our own content as well as integrating third parties' content. Um, so, for example, for the DIY investors, they use a lot of um, uh, uh, investment forums and websites such as Seeking Alpha or Motley Fool. Sure. Um, now, those are all p uh, publicly available information. We aggregate them and we uh, present them in a very user-friendly way. That's the first step today as we're speaking. With the raise, we're going one step further. We're integrating with the brokers, the financial advisors, so that if you are uh, using uh, the existing service providers such as Hargreaves Lansdowne or H.A. Bell or Interact Investor, uh, in the future you are able to integrate those apps into our app. Um, so it's kind of like open banking, but it's open investing, if you will. Mm. Um, and that's, okay. that's, 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 the re that's really the game changer, where uh, you are becoming provider agnostic, but you pay much more attention to how you arrive at the investment decisions. That's going to be mattering to you much more than choosing which, which one to execute or trace. You've, um, you've got global aspirations, clearly. Yes. But, um, how, how have regulations here in, MIF in this country, like MIFID II, how has that affected things? For the, well, it's affected, obviously, the industry, but has it affected you at all? Uh, it's actually uh, uh, working towards our favor. For example, MIFID II, the biggest uh, um, uh, change in that uh, framework is uh, you need to pay for the research. Uh, now, traditionally, institutions, they don't um, really serve DIY investors because they can't really monetize on the whole DIY space. However, now, since you need to put a price tag on the research, uh, immediately you are uh, able to monetize your research to DIY investors. What's missing is that distribution platform. Where does the DIY investor buy research from? Uh, so that's going to be a, a very uh, interesting phenomenon that is working towards our favor. Now, speaking of other countries, uh, since we're going through partnerships, our local partners are going to solve the issues of regulation approvals and all that. Uh, our position is that we are going to be the content and intelligence feeder, and they will take care of the regulation and the client-facing side. That's a good strategy for regulation, global regulation, partnerships. Yes. Yep. And um, what do you feel most excited about in your industry at the moment? Uh, it's, it's the whole trend of democratization and give the power of investment making decisions back to the users. That's the most exciting trend we're seeing uh, with the likes of Robinhood in US and Free Trade in UK. They've done a fantastic job in democratizing and making trading very easy and accessible. And we are taking one step further and provide the intelligence that drives that decision making process. We are effectively serving the brain for the DIY investors. We do automated research. We uh, want to streamline the whole process very efficiently. So we democratize the whole institutional investment process and make it retail friendly and digestible. Truman Du, thank you very much for joining us today and telling us about your company. Thank you, pleasure. If you'd like to find out more about Genuine Impact, you can do so on Crowdcube's website. That's crowdcube.com. <laughs> Thank you.